Have you ever thought, is there a better position that we should use during intercourse that will help us fall pregnant more easily? Keep watching because in this video, I will go into this topic in more detail and I will also describe the anatomy in ways that you probably have never heard it discussed. Hi, I'm Dr. Katie, former pharmacist, now practicing as a fully certified family doctor. On this channel, we talk about health topics, but more specifically, we hone in on women's health as well as fertility medicine. Right, at the very start of this video, I'm gonna put it out there. There is no one best position. Stick with me though, ladies. But wait, don't go away. There's a lot more to it. Conception can occur in various sexual positions. Yes, even with the good old missionary style, conception can still happen. The bottom line is several factors play a significant role. Factors such as timing, overall health, fertility health, play a crucial role in being able to achieve a pregnancy. There is no one method fits all. That's the truth. What your friend tells you worked for her is not necessarily going to work for you. It will be different for everyone. As a doctor, I have done countless pelvic exams and I've used a speculum to assess the cervix of multiple women. The only time where I think that sexual position has an implication on whether or not you fall pregnant is when the uterus is not in its normal position. So I will go into a lot more detail about it later on in the video. So ladies, if you want to know, make sure you stick around right through to the very end. But please do not panic. Having a uterus that is not in the normal anatomical position is an extremely common thing and many women over and over and over again have been able to fall pregnant despite not having a normally positioned uterus. Not having your uterus in its normal position does not mean that you are abnormal in any way. The position of your uterus affects the direction in which your cervix is facing. And the position of your cervix may have implications on how easily the sperm cells are able to enter into your womb through the cervix. Because remember, in order to fall pregnant, the early stages of conception includes the sperm cells going through your cervix, which is the neck of your womb, and swimming up into your uterus and then finding their way to the fallopian tube. So at the start of the conception process, a healthy and accessible cervix is everything. So if the sperm cells cannot get into your uterus because of how your cervix is facing, let's face it, pregnancy is just not going to happen. Let's look at the normal anatomy more closely so that you can understand the impact of the cervix not facing the normal position and possibly how adopting certain position during intercourse can help women whose cervixes are not in this normal anatomy position I'm just about to describe. So here it is. This is the normal position of the uterus in its antiverted position. What happens during intercourse, as the sperm enters the vagina, it will meet a cervix that is directly opposite to the vagina. And so the sperm cells don't have to stress themselves. The entrance to the uterus is very obvious and apparent to them, and they can go straight in. The sperm meets the cervix, which is in this position right here. So it's easy for the sperm cells to swim in through the cervix, and voila, this is the start of the magic happening quite easily. Just for you to see the anatomical picture of what actually happens when the sperm cells enter into the vagina. As soon as they enter into the vagina with a normally positioned uterus, the cervix is right there. As soon as the sperm cell enters, this is what it finds, the cervix, right in front of the sperm cells. So now we know what's normal, let's look at a retroverted and retroflexed uterus. The antiverted position is a normal position of a uterus. In the very slightly, even in the normal position, some uteruses might be a bit more forward than others, but the antiverted position is the normal position of the uterus. In comparison to the retroverted uterus, in this picture you can see the position of a retroverted uterus in comparison to the normal antiverted position of the uterus. The retroverted uterus can be described as the uterus being 
tilted backward so that it aims towards the rectum instead of forward towards the bladder. And then the next picture we have describe what we call a retroflexed uterus. With this position of the uterus, the fundus, which is the top of the uterus itself, is tilted or bent towards the spine. And in some instances, the fundus of the uterus may rest against the rectum. Here is another picture that will help you to understand the position of the uterus and how it impacts the direction in which the cervix is facing. Just so that you understand clearly in your mind what is happening inside of you, let me explain further with my hands. So let's imagine that these are the walls of your vagina. Okay, obviously during intercourse, the penis comes through this, this end, but this is both sides of the wall of your vagina. This is your cervix, okay? So your cervix is positioned there. Now, this is a normal position of the uterus. So this is when your uterus is in the normal antiverted position. So you can imagine at the middle right here, at the middle right here is the opening of the cervix, okay? So it's facing right inside and the sperm will come through here and it will enter into the cervix very easily. On the other hand, if you have a retroflexed or retroverted uterus, the cervix now faces this way and in extreme cases, this opening of the cervix can rest completely against the vaginal wall. I've seen this happen in countless women over and over again. And it is only after I examine them and inform them, they become aware that this is what is happening inside of them. They never know that they have a retroverted or retroflexed uterus. So you can imagine if the opening of the cervix, which remember is in between here, is resting against the vaginal wall, it's naturally going to be much harder for the sperm cells to swim their way into the cervix in order to be able to enter into the uterus. Now, not all the cervixes of retroflexed or retroverted uteruses face the, the vaginal wall in this extreme. Sometimes they're just a bit like this or just a bit like that. So there's still a little bit of entry, but there is a small percentage of women for whom it completely rests against the vaginal wall. And even if it is slightly like this, it's still going to be harder for sperm cells to find their way into the uterus. So with these altered positions of the cervix in retroflex and retroverted uteruses, there is sometimes no room for the sperm cells to swim their way into the entrance of the cervix and into the uterus. As a doctor myself, I often have to maneuver my way with the speculum and ask the woman to move in several positions. And I have to place the speculum in different position before I can get access to the cervix. So you can imagine if it's difficult for me as a human being that has reasoning and is able to think, how much more difficult it would be for the sperm cells who are not able to think or to reason. So in these women, the sperm cells will lurk around for a few days, usually five days. And after that, as they are not able to swim their way through the cervix in order to be able to get into the uterus, they naturally die in a vagina not having achieved their purpose. Now, if you've struggled to fall pregnant and up until now, you've not had a pelvic examination done by your doctor, this is your urge to do so. Knowing what you know now, it's important that you go to your doctor and ask for routine pelvic examination. That will also include a vaginal examination as well as your doctor using a speculum to go into the vagina because only after your doctor has used a speculum and goes into the vagina and opens up the wall of your vagina will he or she be able to tell what side your cervix faces. Now remember, the position of your uterus will affect what side your cervix faces. Even after having a vaginal manual examination and the use of a speculum, it's important if you're struggling to conceive, of course, for your doctor to get you to do an ultrasound scan. The ultrasound scan will tell with precision whether your uterus is in a normal position, retroflex position, or in the retroverted position. With that information, you are a little bit more empowered when it comes to sexual positions. Now, let's go back to the original question. Does sexual position matter? 
The answer is, if your uterus is not in the normal position, it may well do. So after seeing your doctor and having all these investigations done, if you've been told that you have a retroflex or retroverted uterus, having intercourse from behind, more commonly known as the doggy style position, can be helpful because what it will do is that it will help to shift the position of the uterus and naturally what will happen is the cervix will move from its conventional position of pressing against the vaginal wall to facing the opening of the vagina a little bit more. And once that happens, the sperm cells have a bit more chance of finding the entrance to your cervix and swimming through. Also, this position allows deeper penetration, which is what you want. The deeper the penetration, the closer the sperm will be to the entrance of the cervix, again, increasing the chance of falling pregnant. As always, I end these fertility videos leaving you with hope from the Word of God in order to build your faith even as you wait to fall pregnant. Today's scripture will be coming from Psalm 25, verse 6 to 7. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindness, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Lord. Meditate on this scripture as you cry out to God to show you mercy in order to be able to conceive. I'm praying for you and trusting that God will finally answer your desire to fall pregnant. Take care, stay strong, and we'll see you in our next video.